Hello, everyone. My name is Anna Maria Minafra, and I'm very happy to present at the fourth International Music and Performing Arts Conference. Today, I'm going to present my part of my research, that is distance learning effects on Italian higher music student instrumentalist during the lockdown at the coming time. As each of us knows, the lockdown caused a sudden change in our daily habits. This also affected the student instrumentalist daily routine of practice their instrument. Students had to quickly adapt to the new form of distance instrumental learning by introducing technological mediation. The distance teaching and learning has a twofold aspect. That means to have some benefits Indeed, it allows continuing relationship, in this case, the student-professor relationship, but also it has some limitation. Social encounters are alterated. If we consider this point from the embodied cognition perspective, our knowledge take place through the interaction of our moving body with the surrounding environment, the body is a fundamental tool in music communication as straight we convey our musical intention as well as technical expressive information. In the lockdown period, the corporeal interaction which is fundamental in human communication and particularly in music performance practice disappeared since it occurred in the disembodied virtual space. According to Marinoni and colleagues in artistic fields such as music, practice cannot be replaced by distance learning and teaching. Through technological materials, teachers were unable to perceive body movement, posture and performance emotion and sound quality. The quality of online teaching was reduced due to the lack of teacher-student contact. The quality of, of internet connection and technological tools also affected teaching and the learning process. Uh, as some international research reports that were carried out during the lockdown on higher education students, there was an increase in depression and anxiety, such, as well as uncertainty, vulnerability and loneliness compared uh, before the pandemic period. So the purpose of my study um, was to examine how music students in Italia Conservatory responded to the line learning at the coming time about their emotional experience, need and difficulties as very little attention uh, was paid uh, on, on them uh, in Italy. So in order to uh, focus on this issue, the such question was how and to what extent did disembodiment of distance teaching and learning to student instrumentalists at the Italian conservatories impact on their practice and their emotion during the lockdown period at the COVID-19 time. To address this issue, a sequential mis mixed method research design was adopted in which qualitative and quantitative data were gathered in three phases. The first phase, phase consisted in gathered qualitative data through online semi-structured interviews carried out face-to-face -to, -face to explore in depth how adult Iger instrumental students from Italia conservatories reacted to distance learning. The second phase was based on qualitative result. This was useful to generate new variables for the surveys that took place in the third phase and that um, included quantitative data. As uh, an online survey was uh, um, given uh, to uh, adult higher instrumental students from Italian conservatories. Uh, before uh, each interview, video recorded informed consent was obtained by the participant. And similarly, before completing the survey, informed content consent was obtained by the participant following uh, both of them, um, in both of them, uh, European, uh, the deadline from European Commission was followed.
The participant in the study in the initial phase, uh, we were three Italian researcher, and uh, we, uh, together we developed thematic areas of investigation and together we collected data. For the first step of data collection, uh, qualitative data were collected to a small purposeful sample in which five adult high grade instrumental students from Italian Conservatoire voluntarily participate. Each of them uh, was from a different geographical area, um, for example, from the north, uh, a, man, a man saxophonist participate, while from the center, a man a hornist, and from south, um, a, a woman violinist, and from, uh, um, and from island, um, uh, a guitarist, uh, women, and uh, from uh, another Highland uh, men, piano jazz. Um, in the, this was done to explore any possible differences related to technological tools, online learning, and new ways of practicing among students. The same criteria to group instrument uh, it, to group student were adopted for quantitative data in which a self selection sample was uh, adopted, uh, and to which uh, to, in the survey responded six hundred fifty two people. Uh, from north were 270, more than 41%. From center, 154, more than 17%. From south and islands, uh, 268, more than four, uh, 41%. Uh, so the characteristic of, uh, of the uh, people who participate to the survey, um, they were uh, 325 uh, female, while male were 308 uh, ma uh, male. Um, the age was uh, between 19 uh, to uh, 61 uh, year, uh, years old. Uh, and uh, uh, but most of the students were uh, from uh, the bachelor level, um, more than uh, between 19 and 21 uh, years old. Uh, instruments were grouped following the Rosé et Conlique's uh, um, classification uh, in the sense that there were five categories of instrument. Uh, such as plucket instrument, string, wind, that um, collected the major number of participants, percussion, piano, and uh, organ. Uh, the, the procedure uh, in this paper, uh, two main thematic areas are considered and are um, both in uh, semi-structural interviews and in the surveys. These are related to student organization, instrumental lessons such as instrumental lessons, practicing technological tools, and also emotion. The interviews were carried out face-to-face -face online, adopting an ethnographic approach. About that analysis, uh, thematic analysis was used for qualitative da data, while descriptive st statistic analysis was employed for quantitative data, uh, adopting SPSS software. Uh, about the online uh, session, uh, the, mm, we thought that was important to consider uh, if students had internet problems uh, and uh, also the modality of to which the student carry out the session. Uh, most of them sometimes, uh, that means the 71st, um, the 71 percent of students had uh, uh, problems, internet connection. Uh, and uh, um, they, most of the, of the students uh, at uh, online session, um, at online stream, uh, live streaming session, as the 72% uh, uh, declared, and also using their own PC. 
uh, while uh, the 23, more than 23% uh, recorded a piece of music and sent to their, uh, to their uh, teacher. And the, the 8% uh, had phone call. This means that the teachers um, and students sp uh, had only um, audio, um, audio connection through phone. Uh, we also were interested in uh, observing uh, the teacher feedback, uh, how the uh, teacher communicate their feedback to student. Uh, the 80, uh, 81, more than 80 uh, percent uh, declared that uh, um, they have their um, feedback uh, online uh, during the live uh, uh, the, the session, while uh, um, others had the uh, feedback by phone. And, and this is quite surprising because only 8% of students had the, uh, the session uh, through uh, phone, but the feedback was more than uh, almost the 14%, 15%. Uh, and uh, other students receive their the feedback through written form. That is almost the, uh, fifteen percent, if we consider sometimes and always. Um, another element that was important: we asked what a student uh, missed, uh, and uh, um, the fifty-three percent of students declared that they. Uh, missed the verbal communication with the, with the teacher, uh, but um, the, the, the important data is that the 72% of students declare that missed the live musical experience, uh, like musical example that a um, uh, teacher gave habitually during the session, and uh, the 53 Percent declare to miss the postural indication from teachers. Um, another important data is that the classroom was missed as performative space. This miss could be interpreted as the fact that the, the, uh, the class uh, was not only uh, a place to, to uh, meet people, but to communicate through to, um, to space to music, to sound, as a social um, environment in which communication occurs through sound. And this is confirmed, could be confirmed by the fact that this, uh, almost the 70% was missing playing with the classmate. So um, the physical presence of the uh, classmate through um, the, with, who, with who they uh, played together habitually. So um, another important data is related to improving listening skills uh, and improving assess assessment in the sense that um, the students increase the use of uh, technology, technical tools, and this allowed them to improve their listening and their self-assessment -ass of their uh, performance. Uh, indeed, uh, the, the, the students who increase uh, the use of technical uh, tools, the 40, uh, the 54% the in, increase their uh, listening uh, skills in self-assessing their, their performance. Uh, while um, the, always the people who increase the use of technical tools, the 51% declare to have pleasure uh, to become autonomous in solving difficulties. Um, this, uh, this percentage, it could, uh, it could be, uh, uh, we were expecting it could be uh, higher um in 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 this so maybe um deeper uh, analysis should be done about this point uh, another important part is that uh, although they increase improve their uh, their listening skills uh, some dissatisfaction with technical tools will ge generate fr uh, frustration and anxiety um 
Indeed, uh, the, the microphone, the technical tools having a, a low quality, such as the, the, the quality, generate frustration and uh, anxiety as sound and images were altered. This was confirmed by a guitarist who said, registering made me anxious. I wished to make a perfect performance with good sound, but the quality of the video was not. Many things are missed, the effects, the sound, the touch on the string. Uh, the teacher says something that you were already doing. And this, it's frustrating. So uh, this kind of feeling emerged also from the uh, survey as uh, uh, more, more than 70% of people uh, declared uh, to uh, show anxiety while more than 76% showed frustration. Uh, the fact that uh, the dissatisfaction with technical tools um, affected also some changing uh, motivation to practice it, to practicing the instrument. Indeed, those who um, show um, very uh, uh, much dissatisfaction with technical tools um, the, that were the 70, um, 71% of students uh, from this percentage, 55% decrease in motivation to, to practicing as is shown here. Uh, another point was to evaluate the online experience. The 48% declared that corresponded to 324 students uh, disagree uh, with uh, online experience. They didn't like, while an important number is uh, the 214 students uh, corresponded to 34 percentage um, were declared to be neutral. So they didn't express any preference about that, while the 18% um, agree with, uh, with a learning experience uh, that was 114. The another data was that uh, the in the future they in, about the um, instrumental lesson they didn't like to include blended learning uh, mix uh, blended learning uh, in instrumental lesson so fifty six percent declared to never uh, to uh, include blended learning in their session uh, why in um, in the the interesting data if we can observe uh, that they declared that they could integrate they would integrate audio video recording device in their practicing uh, always and this is uh, in the 43 percent uh, so, the result from this research showed that students increase the use of technologies, becoming more autonomous in their practicing. However, this generated dissatisfaction for not having high technological tools that produced a sort of frustration and anxiety for the pursuit of perception of perfection in execution. The students also missed the embodied elements such as teacher's presence or playing with classmates. These results suggest a deeper analysis related to students' emotional experience lived in the lockdown period. Thank you so much for listening to me.